<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome to another Command and Conquer Rivals video, Retro Rockets here. Today this is just a really quick video going over the update 1.42 balance changes. Usually when they change a unit here and there, I wouldn't see sense doing a video, but they have changed so many units in this update that I thought I'd do a quick video on it and see what it means for me and what it could mean for you. So if I just have a look through the message here, I'm not going to go through the economy update, I'm just going to go about the units. <laughs> Everyone received this message, so I'm sure you've had a look through it. But first of all, jump jet troopers reduced harvester aggression without affecting combat effectiveness. Basically, they've reduced damage to harvesters, which honestly I think is great. So you're going to start um, be able to defend jump jet harvester rushes better. You're going to be start seeing them less. So overall, I think that's good. Kodiak. If you've watched my previous videos, I've done a couple of videos on the Kodiak saying about how beastly it is and obviously that uh, the devs were aware of that so you know they'll prove it was proving to take a bit too long to kill even with a hard counter. So they've decreased its health. I'm going to keep on using it and see how I get on with it but it's going to be a lot less tanky. Liang Honestly, I've never really used Liang, but after seeing this, I did, did level him up and try try using him because he wasn't really in the meta. Not a lot of people used him unless they were going double harvester tech units. They've increased his drone down to 40 and it was 60. I'm going to keep giving him a go, but I don't know how much that's going to affect me. Now, Lieutenant Strongarm. I wasn't even aware of this, that the turret, the turret had a two tile range, but that's now been reduced to one. I guess some people were using it to scout. So I think that's good. I didn't use strong arm too much. Uh, the machine gun squad, I think this is quite an important one, although I did try it out. Um, I don't use machine gun squads that much, so I'm not the best player with them. However, they have had their inc uh, their speed increase to average. When I first read this, I thought they I thought they were saying something about they set up quicker. They don't set up quicker. They just move across the map quicker. So you, they can get to the position you want them to be quicker, but it still takes them the same length of time to set up. Now, this next next one is a good is a good balance change I think. The MLRS is gonna has had a nerf, it's not as powerful now. They've increased its cost to 80, which I think is good, and increased its reload time. The reason I say this is good is because I don't use MLRS, but I do find it quite hard to get uh, to destroy MLRSs, so I welcome that change. Mohawk, I, I never really leveled mine up. Uh, high enough to be competitive but they've nerfed uh, its damage there as you can see so that's going to be less effective against vehicle units and harvesters now this one's quite important about the orca they've given what looks like a massive health buff to it so I've tried to start using it again they've effectively increased its health by what's that about 25% 30% something like that so it's gonna be harder to take down while still doing damage with four missiles so that's good I think that's good that an orc is a unit that you definitely might want to start trying out pitbull uh, okay so they've just slightly decreased its health won't really go through that this is massive this one it is the same for scorpion tanks but as they say here, tanks have dominated the meta in the last few months. This should promote a bit more diversity. They've increased its cost to 70 instead of 60, effectively killing the tank rush, more so the scorpion rush. But because to open up a war factory costs 40 and the tank now costs 70, and you only start the game with 100 Tiberium, 
you can't build a war factory and then instantly build a tank you have to wait to charge a tiberium bar which effectively kills the tank rush i'm still using tanks at the minute because i think they're great but we'll see how much harder they are to use now that they cost more rhino yeah i think this is good now that the war factory has scouting units the rhino no longer needs extra vision so the rhino is no longer a scouting unit this one i thought was extremely interesting survivability boost for the sandstorm i never really used the sandstorm but they look like it looks like they've increased its health massively so i started leveling up leveling it up and put it in my deck i've played a few games but never really had a chance to use it but it seems like the sandstorm is becoming more tanky now the sniper team i i put them in my deck after this and tried them out i never really used them that much but i couldn't notice any difference maybe that's because i don't use them that often but they were still getting beat up so i don't know how much good that is talon slight buff to the talon slightly increases its damage i already used talons so they're definitely staying in and it looks like they've increased their turn rate by I guess that's three times as much. I don't I don't know if that equates to being able to turn three times as fast, but that, that seems really good for the Talon. So definitely keep experimenting with the Talon because that looks like that's that's got a bit of a buff there. Nod Avatar. I never got much chance to use the Avatar so far. I've only recently unlocked it, but I have seen people play with it. And once you get one out, it kind of just charges through everything and just wrecks everything. So I think a health decrease is welcome from my point of view because I don't really play tech that much. So that's good in my eyes. Banshee ever so slightly decreased its attack. So I'm going to keep using them, but what that equates to 1%, you know, if the numbers actually stack up to what it looks like. You know, is that a 1% damage increase? I don't... Uh, sorry, decrease? I don't know. I mean, it looks like it, but I don't know if it equates to that. So, that's that's okay. I can I can bear with that. Buggy, same thing that happened to the Rhino. They've, they've decreased its vision. Chemical Buggy... Yeah. I, I started seeing Chemical Buggy quite a lot. It was becoming sort of quite prominent in the meta. Looks like they've given it a health reduction which I think is good because it's it's so good at killing troops but it would be good if it dies to vehicles a lot quicker it dies quick to vehicles anyway but to get a vehicle out there straight away and put an end to it is is good chemical warriors a health increase so they become more dominant over flames and shocks I think that's good I don't use chemical warriors but this make this may be the change that makes me use them. Inferno. I just started using Inferno because I know it's a really good unit. The The 10 extra cost on this isn't as bad as the 10 extra cost on the tanks. It's still bad, but it's more bearable because it's quite a high cost unit anyway. Now, this is good. I, I knew something must have happened to this because people started using rockworms a lot more and burrowing them to your base and just absolutely wrecking it. But yeah, they accidentally changed its base damage to 2000, which is what it looks like to me four times as much. And they've now reduced that to 500. So if you've ever been, if you've ever been rockworm base rushed, you'll start seeing that a lot less. Scorpion tank, same thing that happened to Predator tank. Uh, they've increased its cost to 70. So, same situation with that. And finally, the stealth tank. Players were simply resupplying their unit faster than the stealth tank could deal with it. This should bring the stealth tank closer to the GDI counterparts. I think that's good. Um, yes, yeah, so the stealth tank reloads faster. I think they're probably talking about you know, when it fights orcas or mohawks or something, it can it can 
it's a lot more competitive and, and be able to take off, you know, more life before getting destroyed itself. I'm guessing when it shot an orca, if the orca survived, the orca would then just kill the stealth tank. I'm guessing it's something along those lines. So, yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm sure you've read through it yourself because uh, everyone gets this message but I just thought I'd talk through what it means to me and and what it means overall if, if some people are finding it difficult to understand uh, what these numbers actually mean okay so that's it for this video uh, let me know if what units you use have been affected in the comments below uh, also give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already yeah, as I say, please tell me how you think this is going to affect you, and I hope to see you in the next video.